like to charge you both. Andrew, first to you. You are about to take upon yourself a pure resolve, an important and lasting responsibility. The woman of your choice will now become the partner of your life, co-heir of your possessions, queen of your home. She leaves her home ties to share with you the joys and sorrows of life. With you she will now abide, and for you she will now live. Be her protector and her shield. Be her companion and her friend. Surround her with reminders of your love. And live in the Lord so that her confidence will never be shaken. Angela, when I started writing my vows, I wanted to list all the things I loved about you. And I quickly realized that that list would be far too long for right now. I don't want to make everyone sit here for 30 minutes. But in you, I see someone who takes the commandments of loving the Lord with all you are and loving others as yourself incredibly seriously. You've built your life on it. And you do that to me. You bring out the very best in me. You are selfless and kind and loving and loyal. And Angela, I choose you and I fight for you to protect your hopes and dreams, to build you up with all my strength. Even, even when times are hard. Angela, you are the person I choose to love, not because we were destined or because we're soulmates, but because you are so wonderful. And I have seen God move in you and move through me because of you. And together we have and will continue to make something beautiful. Sorry. Uh, I, Andy, take you, Angela, to be my wife, to have and to hold you from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness, in health, to love and to cherish you until the end of our days. Andy, I remember the first time we had a long and meaningful conversation. I already had a crush on you. I thought you were funny and charming. And as I listened to you talk, the thought crossed my mind that I could listen to you for the rest of my life. You have an intense loyalty that I feel privileged to stand beside and to benefit from. Your passion for Jesus and serving others is contagious and an example that I'm glad I get to follow along with. Knowing you has helped me become a better version of who I am. I choose to always be in your corner and to serve you above myself. I look forward to learning and growing together with you. Ring is a beautiful symbol of marriage covenant. It's made of precious and enduring metal fashioned into an endless circle, symbolic of the ties that bind husband and wife, the union of two lives into one. Precious metal speaks of the worth of your relationship, the endless circle of its continuance. So Andy, if you will take Angela's ring and place it on her finger and repeat after me, with this ring. With this ring. I pledge my faith and trust. I pledge my faith and trust. Receive it as a symbol. Receive it as a symbol of our endless union. Of our endless union. And our unbroken love. And our unbroken love. Angela, if you will take Andy's ring and place it on his finger, repeat after me. Ah, ah, no, I'm joking. <laughs> With this ring. With this ring. I pledge my faith and trust. I pledge my faith and trust. Receive it as a symbol. Receive it as a symbol of our endless union, of our endless union, and our unbroken love. And our unbroken love. Now, Angela and Andy want to seal their vows by sharing communion together. They confirm their dedication to make their home a place where Christ is. Saved. Father, I thank you for this time together. I ask that your blessing and your presence would continue to overshadow Angela and Andy all of the days of their life together. You, 
would guide them and anoint them in ministry as they follow your plan and call for their lives. I thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. May they never doubt your faithfulness. We thank you for this opportunity to join these two lives together. I pray this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Andy, you may embrace your bride. <laughs> oh, I'm going to kiss her. <laughs>